Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Friday. It's another Friday. And for some reason, this Friday, I've got a different project. But if things go well tonight, this will be my class three for nationals. So <laughs> uh, we'll see how it goes. But in front of me, we have the Capra. But we are going to desecrate this little this little truck. And the plan is to build what I learned is called the Chopra. Uh, and that is when you take a Capra cage and you mount it to a different chassis. And the chassis that we're going to be using tonight is a brazen scale high-low. Uh, so, I was watching the Brazen Scale live streams and because it's on Monday nights and Monday nights are when uh, I usually leave work a little bit late. And anyway, long story not so long, I kind of learned what these things were called. I always liked the way that they looked. So what we're going to attempt to do is start down the path, see how things go. And if it works well, kind of goes somewhat smoothly, that's what my class three will be my class three slash our class three because if nothing else gets done matt and i might both drive it in a weird way we'll see we talked about it on the live stream but anyway i'm going to tear apart my four-wheel steer class three because it seems like why not why not uh, i really like this four-wheel steer capra i actually really enjoyed driving it but that doesn't sound like a good reason to keep a car together. So that's going to be uh, the route that we're going to take things. Let's see how that goes. We're going to just start tearing stuff apart, seeing what it looks like, and uh, go from there. What transmission am I using? Art, that's a good question. I've got a couple of options. So in this Capra, I have already done the three gear transmission swap. So while that is a valid option, and if I need something to go quick and easy, it may be the best option. But I also have, I got the other rail here. Um, in my box of parts, I found a brazen scale skid plate, luckily enough. Not sure when I got that or why, but I had it. And that is made to bolt a three gear transmission up to, or I've got one of the deluxe portal transmissions. And I had this in my UC Fab moon buggy, which is still just in progress. So I could run this super tiny transmission. It's got a revolver already bolted onto it. And I've got one of the HK hobbies uh, ESCs already wired in. So this is the other option. This is a fully reasonable, great little portal trans, super small, compact. It's literally going to come down to what do I got time for? So I don't know what pinion gear is installed in that. No idea. We're going to just We're going to learn what's up as we go. So the, uh, that little deluxe portal trans is a compact little sweet unit. Uh, you can find, you know, if you've never been on deluxe fabs website, it's worth a gander. Uh, they, they have all kinds of cool little things and I suggest go familiarize yourself with the options that they have because you could learn something. All right, how did I put this thing together? Freaking zip ties. Okay, there's that. Why did I put things in here so nicely? I must not have been in a hurry this day. Oh boy. Let 
This has got a copper head in here currently, which is okay. Not a, not a bad ESC by any means. Not something I would normally run in a comp truck probably, but come on, there we go. There we go. In, one thing I will I will really like about swapping to this style of build, the Chopra build as they call it, um, is the fact that it's not a Capra cage. And because these Capra cages are an absolute pain in the ass to work on. There we go. Out of there. Yeah. So, uh, I also have two cages. I've got my original black cage, which was a non four wheel steer cage. And then I've got the red four wheel steer cage. So, uh, I'm not really sure if there's a one that I'll want to use over the other. I liked the red look, but also at the same time, I don't really need it to be red. So black seems like the way to go. I'm obviously not going to be using either of them. So we'll figure it out. Might as well take the wheels and tires off. There's no point in dealing with all that stuff in the way. We're going to have to pull the capper skid off. Well, it's not a capper skid anymore. It's a UC Fab skid. I had upgraded that when I went to the three gear. I've got SSD brass knuckles on here, front and rear. St <laughs> Dibs on the red one, Eric. <laughs> yeah, there you go. No problem. Uh, hey, what's up, Matt's in here? Step one, buy a new capper. Step two, replace everything. Yeah, that's pretty much the capper way. It's like, I have this capra, and I thought there would be something usable in it. And you're almost right. But they're fun once you do, once you replace everything. AR44 base link measurements uh, started front, ooh. Started to get, uh, you started front upper link 65, front lower 76. I gotta go cop, ah. Copy, open notepad. Paste that message. All right, I got that saved. Thank you, Brett. Um, or Wes, I'm guessing. Bress, wet, wh whichever you prefer. Jimothy, can I call you Jimothy? I dusted this off with the blower before. Wet tonight, okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. I sp let's uh, let's just remove everything that I'm gonna fight with. So remove the ESC. Pull the sensor wire. What? What did I do? Oh, <laughs> I was like, why? Yikes, yikes. So if you see, this is my server wire here. And you may notice that there is heat shrink, heat shrink, heat shrink. And then there's heat shrink on the power side. And <laughs> I remember exactly why I had to do that because Suki ate this servo. This was sitting on my desk and Suki completely gnawed through these wires. And I remember discovering it one night and was just like, really? 
<laughs> I knew it was that servo. I didn't know it was that servo. Okay, we're gonna set all that in a box. So, it's a good start, quality start. Um, let's remove our link mounts. Pulling everything, and we'll deal with the consequences later. Disassemble all of our links. Big old glass of that is a glass of cold brew coffee. As you guys may be aware, we're in a bit of a time crunch on some national builds. So that means that I have been up until two in the morning every single night trying to get trucks done. Last night was no exception. So I got home today, set my phone timer for 27 minutes and took a nap woke up feeling so much better and big glass of cold brew coffee which we uh we bought this little cold brew maker it's just a like a not a decanter whatever whatever it would be called i can't think of the name and uh you put your grounds in it, you leave it, sit in it for 24 hours, just out, and it's so good. So good. Is it just me, or is the feed fuzzy? It shouldn't be fuzzy. I'm not dropping frames. I'm broadcasting it full quality, so. Okay, so we've removed the axles from my complete running car, and that's all we get to start with. It's the axial way. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, you know what we should do? And Dowdy's here right now. It's, he's usually on Wednesdays, but a quick moment for you Hot Wheels people. I got a package today from Craig Thompson, who's a scale builders workshop on Instagram. I'll show this again on Wednesday, but uh, it just got here today. So I, was like, I opened it and I was like, what? In this box is a collection of eight Zamek cars from the 50th anniversary, which I believe makes this like six years old, but they're all the Zameks from that series. And the Zamek is the, the non-painted collection. Um, but these are freaking sweet. No! I'll show them all later, but just to... So cool. So, thank you, Craig Tom. Showing off some Hot Wheels. They just, because of the show on the feed. They stay at work, don't worry. <laughs> Nicole saw it. Go on, Sookie. No, you've done, you've done, you've done enough damage, Sookie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she must have had the feed on. She caught me. Thought I'd get her tonight. She always catches me on Wednesdays. She goes, oh, let's see what you got this week. Nicole was like, oh, she's like, do you want me to uh, help tonight? And I said, uh, I've got to get some things done, so no. <laughs> if you join, I don't get anything done, because all we do is talk. 
So I try and do things and she distracts me. I usually think that it's going to be helpful that she can just be like, yeah, you read the things and I'll, I can work on it. Never happens that way. She makes it worse. So if we do the portal trans, which ideally I'd like to, I know Brett said this fit. Just got to figure out the best orientation to do that. I feel like I use one of the three gear holes and <laughs> one of the slotted holes to make it all fit. And I think that we can do that. We'll figure it out. Mind your business, devil woman. <laughs> Stretch. Thank you, sir. I don't feel like, feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, is there a sensor wire puller tool? Not that I'm aware of. And definitely not one that I've, I've hunted down and felt like I needed to. Um, but yeah, no, not that I've ever seen. I wonder if there is like a special one. Be interesting to know that. Let's try bolting this in. Oh, we gotta, we gotta do the link link thing first, right? I feel like that is correct. So I saved myself a note here from what Bress had told us, or wet, sorry. AR44 base link measurements to get you started. Front upper links, 65 millimeter, front lower links, 76 millimeter. Rear upper, 162, rear lower, 177. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was like, that's not AR44 links, but that's like if you were using AR44 axles, that would be the place to start. Okay, that makes sense. Those are eye to eye. Aha! Okay, so let's look at those front ones first. Uh, 65 and 76. So I've got my less than 80 millimeter box here. So what do we got? 65-76. Link measuring device. So 65 and 76. This one is... 82 so we need shorter than that guy that's going to be way too short that is that's going to be pretty close let's look at what that would give us okay my TGH rod end tool. I found it again, but now I seem to have lost it. <laughs> oh, found it. Found it. Uh, noise cancel the... So my noise canceling has been acting up on me. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave that on for today. Okay, so we're looking for 65 and 76. Oof, that's a 70. That's like right in the middle. <laughs> that is not what we need. 
I can get myself close and then make new tomorrow. Or Monday, I mean. You just go punch some link lengths into the machine. But. God damn it. Let's see what this looks like. That hat needs a good washing. It needs a good replacing right now. There we go. That is a 74, but we can deal with that. Uh, you're running capper, not 44, so whatever is close is fine. Just keep the skid close to the front axle. Yeah, that's, I fully agree there. We're just gonna get something close, and then I can, I can type in some adjustments and make myself a set of links on, uh, on the real soon. And, uh, you know, close enough is good enough for a live stream, right? There's a matching one. So that gets us our lowers, right? Front lower 76. 65, though, I need something that is roughly 10 mil shorter than this. Yeah, a little less. Correction, two sets of links. <laughs> yeah. Matt, I have a number of things I need to send you, don't I? So 10 mil shorter is not that. I don't know that I have a lot that are that short. That is a, a really short link. Or 10 mil long, longer for the low. Yeah, right? That could do it. Building a custom link set out of boxes of random links is probably some of the least interesting streaming I could do. So thanks to everybody who's hanging on through that. So we got about, say 36, so I need it's only 20. It's too, too short. That's fine. I just need to call it good enough. Adjust the links with rod ends. Jesus, that is short. Adjust the links with rod ends though and move forward. I wonder if I've got some capper rod ends. Or sorry, what do you call them? Jado rod ends. Matter of fact, I have one. Oof. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Two. Let's see what that makes it look like. Perry G, thank you, sir. Found out eating a whole bag of Gunner's Carolina Reaper will make a man emotional. <laughs> 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 uh, it doesn't it doesn't take a whole bag to make me emotional i'm a crier let's see what that looks like oh look at that 64 Psh little adjustment here and there and we're set winner winner all I gotta do is if I can get this thing to a roller tonight I'll uh, I'll feel pretty good about about my uh, the position of it, and I'll I'll continue on. If I if I struggle to the point where I can't get a roller tonight, 
we'll have to uh, we'll have to reevaluate the likelihood of this project happening for nationals. Either way, I'll want to get this thing done, but. To get it done before nationals, if I can't get it to a roller tonight, will be difficult. There we go. Let's see if we can get the front axle set up. When is national? Well, I call it, I keep calling it nationals. I shouldn't keep, I couldn't, shouldn't use that word. It's Rocky Mountain Regionals, but it is June 1st. June 1st, 2nd, 3rd, or something like that, which I can't wait. It's great timing because that also happens to be Nicole's birthday. So we are going to be the chat GPT look. <laughs> uh, is Ben making all of his replies tonight with chat GPT? I would like to know this. I find chat GPT to be so useful in my day to day life now. <laughs> what a gift you're giving to Nicole for her birthday. Husband of the year. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's YouTube stream. I'm your moderator. I'm thrilled to be here with all of you, whether you're tuning in live or catching later. Thank you for joining us. See, mo that is moderator of the year right now. <laughs> Such a cordial, cordial <laughs> message. I like to give... I like The nice thing about ChatGPT is you can say... That's a, uh, can you make that a more concise message? Nicole's getting a chopper, baby. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, that makes sense right there. Tell you what, one thing I, people ask about flat rail stuff often. And one thing that I, most enjoy about using the brazen scales is that their skid plates use a standard dimension on all of them. So it's about, like no matter what you're doing, you pretty much know you can find a skid plate to bolt into it. It's so such a simple difference. Oh, we can't put the rear on yet because we gotta. Well, you know what? I can put a screw in it for now. I can rotate it down at the time. Don't make me wrong here. Let the let's make this stream memorable and enjoyable experience for everyone involved. <laughs> Why is this skid plate not start? Oh, it's starting. Okay. All right. So we got that. I'm going to bolt in our our links so that I can uh, determine how far off we are, being that this is capper axles and not. AR-44. My bench is a disaster because I've been between like working on it and then working on at the computer and out there every night without like cleaning up in here between. I have two short stuck in my head right now. Blow the whistle. Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh, the West. <laughs> That's Memphis, baby. So, just so you know what's playing in my head while this whole thing is going on. <laughs> There's usually... <laughs> what? What's his favorite word? <laughs> Why they got a second bench like me? <laughs> uh, you go on and on. Skid plate in place. It, it would appear Matt is not working on a build tonight. He could be working. Or he could be not working because he could be waiting on things for me. It's hard to say. Let me tell you what, this weekend is about to get nuts. I will not be video gaming after tonight's stream because I will be working. And I wish I had more coffee ready because I bet it will be going quite late. Most likely I will end this stream wherever it's at, hopefully at a good place, and jumping right into CAD for the class one build to try and get some of the some of the most pertinent things handled. <laughs> Which axle is the front axle again? I can't remember if I put any overdrive in them or anything like that, so I feel like I did. But Let's. we're not putting shocks on yet, but it's the one thing about the shocks being so close to the or on the same screw is the links. It's just such a pain in the ass to take them on and off together or when you have to do it together. Crazy short links, but we are clearing his skid plate. Those link angles still work. That brazen scale's got enough uh, enough angle in the skid to allow it. Lucky us. I've got standard rod ends in here rather than the wider capper pivot balls, but it's okay. Thomas, or to, sorry, Tom back bake. I don't know. Missed the beginning, don't know if you covered it, uh, but can the VFD twin fit in this chassis? Ooh, this chassis would be very difficult to run a VFD in, which is why that I'm, I'm not trying it right now. Um, and that it's because it's that forward bias. Um, I'm not saying it's um, impossible, but being that the motor and everything's so far forward in it, uh, I feel like you would have to stretch that front stretch the front out quite a ways and I just don't know I, I would I would not it wouldn't be like my thought to try it and that which is the only reason why it's I'm not doing it right now because I, I typically like to ooh let me tell you our link lengths are gonna have to change because we've got we've got some wild stuff happening right now Part. Let's look at some longer lowers. I feel like with how wide our lower links, lower link mounts are, that it's causing us to need. It's going to cause us to need some longer links, and I don't think I can go any shorter because I don't think that the uh, skid plate will take any more angle. 
Like I can't go shorter on the uppers. I don't know, maybe I could, but still. Maybe a Jado on the lower. That might do it. I can tell you. That might, that might do it. I've got a single Jado left is all. But I think that I had many links that were just a little bit longer. Yeah, like that one there, it's just a little longer. I guess just meant going to get all three trucks done in time for Colorado. I, it is the the Vegas odds are getting deeper and deeper. I'd like to I'd like to hear what your guys' thoughts are on the odds of. <laughs> you think it's a ten to one shot? Three to one shot. Shit, I don't think that's enough. I need longer than that. Okay. That seems a little too long. It's going to give me... quite a bit of caster <laughs> 10 to one, one in a billion <laughs> we're gonna try this link yeah dirty <laughs> I just downloaded the template for the Scout chassis. Anything I should know about? So the only thing I would tell you about that one is that one is one of my oldest, oldest templates. And I learned a lot about templates over the years. Every one I did was a little better than the one before it. That one is a decent guide to get you started. But, uh, what I would, I would urge you to do is find the body that you plan to use and uh, keep fitting the chassis to it as you go. Because otherwise you're gonna end up with something that is not gonna, gonna be very easy to fit a body onto. But if the template doesn't work out for you, I offer a full refund. They're free. Uh, new trans from Vanquish anytime soon. No, I think the VFD is excellent. I have no, no reasons I would change the VFD. This looks like I 
feel like maybe a little too much caster, but it'll give me something. It's a lot of caster, but I feel like I can roll with it. If it was the rear, it'd be a different situation. Um, I'll definitely adjust before the final links, but that's okay. I feel like I'm in a good enough spot at this point where I can accept it and move forward, which that's our goal tonight. Move forward, move forward. Okay, um, rear links. So I am substantially longer than the front links that Wet suggested. But we're going to game plan to be similar. What's in the cup? Cold brew coffee. Now being uh, long rear links with a nice bend or two in them for clearance. Yeah, that's, that's I think, a good... And you said, uh, let's see, 162 millimeter rear lower, or upper, 176 millimeter upper. Oh. My long link box is much more full. So this is our... 120 millimeter plus link box. Let's look for those 175 ish. What's that going to look like? That's 120. So I've got some really long titanium jobs, but I feel like I'm just trying to figure out what 175 is going to, Ooh, that's a 108. That's like a 200 millimeter link for anyone interested. Hardcore RC has built in link setups. Yes, that I, I should have called Lance and said, can you next day me some parts from Japan? But What is this? This is, no, 135. Okay. Let's see what we have for long links in here. Okay. Oh, these are all super long. Yeah, that's, that's 190 millimeters as it is. <laughs> uh -huh. It's bent, bent. It's one of those long ones. Bend it? You think I could get it to be that short? Man, I guess, I guess we could try that. Um, like it's just really long to try and get down to, oh, those are different lengths. Let's find our shortest of these really long. There we, oh, look at that. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. I think I've, I've got something that's going to work here. These are all blem links. Well, not the straight. Well, so yeah, these straight ones are too. These have like a, a twirling marking on them from when we used to sell titanium links and uh, just didn't want to sell them. So I'm like, well, we're not going to scrap them. They're coming home with me. Um, Those are different sizes. I 
I still have the roller. No, it has not gone back. But with these, I think I'm going to have to bend. So, let's see what we've got that's... Finding them the same size. Oh, these two are the same. That's a good start. Let's see what length they are. How many trucks are you building? <laughs> Just one. Let's see what this is current. Oh, this is a 170 millimeter link. So that's, that is a, a pretty good start for bending. That's 190, that's 175, let's grab some more gladiator links. These were well before the gladiator existed in either scale, <laughs> full size or RC. These are some old links. I think I've had most all of these for seven plus years. Okay, there we go. Captain Insano shows no mercy. Thank you. Josh, are you going to be taking your SCX-6? No, absolutely not. Uh, I would love to be able to travel with it, but that thing is, uh, that would be very difficult to travel with when I'm, I'm, cause I'll be flying to the event. This guy and this guy, what do they come in at? These are 170s as well. What would those links go to? Uh, back in the day when uh, there was a lot of custom building, which is kind of coming back, obviously, um, compared to like some of the years how it went, we used to just sell titanium links in five millimeter increments from 40 to 200. Um, guy and this guy okay those are 180 all right we're gonna start with that and put this set of links together see what we have and then know I could bend from them from there Josh, have you tried the Convicted Melon Liquid Death? No, never even heard. But I don't, oof. I'm not a big melon. I am a big melon fan, but I don't like melon flavored. I don't know who's watching right now, but you know. You know it. Yeah, enough of that. Moving on. <laughs> you know who's watching. <laughs> that mustache makes the show. <laughs> Scumbag, what's happening? <laughs> All right. Thomas Bielzik, what's going on? Thank you, sir. These are some long links. We're gonna have to add the crazy, stupid looking bends. Why not? So these are my 
long long boys. Uh, what are you setting the links for? Ish. We're going for ish dimensions at the current point. Once I get everything done, everything on here, I can go dial in a, a set of custom links. Fine. Um, but for right now, We're just trying to get it set up, like I was mentioning before. If I can get it to a roller tonight, that will be like really good. <laughs> I'll feel really good about that. And then I don't have to worry as much. I feel like I know I can get it done at that point because I can, I can just throw stuff at it and make it legal and have enough points by knick-knacky crap that is allowed as Sorco scale points. So, how much should an SCX-2 with Castle Electronics go for? Ooh, that, that could be, that could mean anything because that could literally mean $150 or $400. Um, because it depends on the shape of the car, what body, what, um, you know, like so many things that it would be impossible to say you should charge about this. Every car is different and, you know, there's SCX 10s, SCX 10 twos worth a thousand dollars and there's SCX 10 twos that I wouldn't pay a hundred dollars for. Both could have castle electronics. Set these long. Ah, oh, what's up? Logan's in here as well. What's going on, Logan? Oh, hobby room as well. Much appreciated. Uh, given that the links on the TRX4 are parallel to the drive shaft, is there an advantage to high clearance links? Um, so high clearance links is one of those things that you know there's lots of discussion on. Being parallel to the drive shaft is is one thing. Being uh, exposed is another and I'm not a huge fan of of high clearance links in all situations it has to be in a situation where uh, you're you are still gaining clearance all over So, uh, you know, on I've never wanted or decided I wanted to put a set on one of my TRX4s before. I also don't think it's the type of truck that I've ever thought was the type that I wanted them on, just for style and things. The machine threads on that brazen skid felt pretty good. Good job, Brett. Thomas Bialzig. Thank you, sir. Damn sausage fingers. Will the Vanquish Products Phoenix Leaf Spring conversion kits be... <laughs> <laughs> you, you caught me on that as I said the words out loud and how much oh. <laughs> I 
Uh, Josh, what body is going on the C3? So this is the C3 plan so far, and it's going to be the Chopra style. So we're going to take a capper cage and cut it all up to fit on here. Uh, that is that is the thought at this point. The other thing we're going to have to do is build ourselves a drive shaft. Or, you know, I guess I could uh, pick up, what's that, what's that brand? It's like Exo something. You got the, or Deluxe has cut your own length drive shafts, don't they? I think I had them on my Asylum Sporty build. Um, yeah. Deluxe may be the route to go. You have a lathe, job over. Uh, I do, but if I just know what I need and I can order it and then I don't have to do it, and then when it gets here, think of all the time I could save. Just because I can doesn't mean that it's always the best option. <laughs> if I need it in an hour, absolutely. If I can be doing something else for an hour, then. Check this out, no joke. Question to chat GPT. <laughs> Who is the most famous YouTube RC crawler channel? Okay, let's see what chat GPT says on this. Quit talking to the old lady about 3D printers. <laughs> uh, are those links way too long or is my memory that bad? Uh, yeah, what links did you give me, Brett? Because this looks ridiculous. But this is pre-bent. This would be... Ruler. Brett, I think your memory is bad. Because this is crazy long. Looks like it could be a foot short. As my knowledge cut off September 2021, most famous YouTube channels focus on RC crawlers is Harley Designs. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, uh, go for the 18 inch wheelbase. Why not? feel like we are definitely too long. Let's let's go grab let's go grab that ruler. Right back. Uh, let's see. I will say that I am about, you said lower 175 ish. I, uh, I'm about an, almost an inch, like 20 millimeters longer. So, but I'm not so much longer that. These might be, these are 10 millimeter longer than what you're saying. All right, we're gonna swap, we're gonna swap, uh, we're gonna swap the uppers we built for the lowers. 20 millimeters longer and no bend. I'm talking eye to eye. Well, let's see. So, Oh, are you, wait, are you saying that you use those lengths and then add the bend to that? So it's not eye to eye, it's a, you the length you would have eye to eye and then bend it? Because that would be different than what my interpretation of what eye to eye meant. <laughs> mm 
If so, I can work with that. Oh, okay. No, you are talking about the same. Then. All right, then we're we're gonna make it work. Somebody check if Deluxe Fab has the uh, cut to length drive shafts that I need in stock. <laughs> All right. What size do I need? I don't know. The cut to length size. Uh, I'll tell you that I think I need at least. Um, set this here this would be the longest it would be before a bend right and that is from pin to pin with no transmission existing in its place um, I'd say a hundred and eighty millimeters hundred and seventy somewhere in there guessing In stock. Excellent. Thank you, Chris Kimberly. That is some good news. Uh, if I recall, we have up to two. Oh, Chris Kelly, you work at Deluxe. Ah, that is a bonus. I will place an order tonight if all goes well. I think. And what I do, that screw is right here. High low capra, yes, Scato Blander, with the cut up capra cage on top, which I have found is referred to as a chopra. So if I go this route, that is going to net me roughly a <laughs> I'd say currently this is a I don't have my tape measure handy. I actually don't know what I did with it. That's about a 13 and change wheelbase. Give or take. And I think I chose the shortest ones that I had out of that batch, but Could be and probably am incorrect. Those are the same. A rod end. These are the exact same length as my <laughs> as my uh, lowers, which is going to be too long. Those were the shortest I had in there. 
more link digging. My least favorite pastime. What is this guy? That is maybe a little too short, but definitely worth hanging on to. Oh, my gosh. This desk is a disaster. Absolute disaster. I've got a lot of that exact same length, just over and over. We must have screwed up a lot of that specific link length. Lucky or unlucky for me. Like... Longer. Even longer. That looks promising, but only barely. I got a lot of these like bent tie rods that must have been for like XR width tie rods, things like that. Super long. Ooh, what's that guy? Ooh, that one matches that one. Wait, were these the same? Let's see. I feel like I can make no, not even not even close. What am I thinking? That one with a Jado rod end I can make work. But that means I have to find another one that what is this? Too short. I think that's why I have too short stuck in my head is because tonight I've just kept saying too short, too short. <laughs> so, James Knight, what's going on? Just use the tie rods, double high clearance. You know, it. Some of most of them are too long, but I should have checked some of them. Like if nothing else, they could have worked for placeholders. I just can't imagine the comments I would have got already. Like, <laughs> like, oh, what's that? So those are about the same. Oh. And then the other thing is, I just know that me digging for links is garbage content. start throwing links back in this box and we determine that those are way too long right it's actually about the same yeah you digging is better than us digging oh it's making me sweat already How long has he been sorting links? On and off for as long as this stream has been going on, it feels like. So many of that same link length. And these are all far too short.
those are longer than so if that's my shortest we know that none of those will work in that case I haven't seen a guy on the internet with this many rods in his hand since. Okay, let's... That's five millimeters shorter. That might work for an upper. It's still that might work. Okay. Let's see what we can find. All too long. Next, we sort out my screw bin. Huh? Oh, what's this guy over here? Success. Whether it works or not, we're rolling with that. We're done with links. I'm sorry. A thousand apologies. steel rod ends off of these. No matter, no matter what these right or wrong, I can get this bolted up and we'll, uh, I can adjust from there. Yes, I do have new rod ends as well, but I use my old ones because why not? You know, Josh, you could have cut and tap four links by now. I don't know that that's true. Other than the fact that I have three millimeter threaded rod, but I don't have any M4 threaded rod in here. Which is something I guess I should have. But I don't have to do this very often. Generally, it's like replacing one link length and having... I usually have something close enough. Make it interesting. When you order the links, get Matt a set in eighth, in eighth inch just to make things interesting for him. <laughs> Uh, pain. <sighs> Nicole should have helped. Oh my God. She would have been yelling at me already. Like this is boring. Do something different. I'm not used to hearing that enough. There we go. Your, your likes not only show appreciation for the content we're providing, but also help us reach a wider audience. <laughs> I want to know how many <laughs> chat GPT is so good at these things. Mm. Okay. Oh, come on. Don't roll that far forward. Oh no. Okay. I can make it work. It's not good. I don't like it. It's not the right length. But I cannot allow myself to dig through any more links. And I think that was about as short as I had. 
in that length range. Can I fast forward this? Kind of, but you have to do it the long way, which means you have to just come back tomorrow. It's like the slowest fast forward. She go do something else. So our portals are rotated the wrong way. We're just going to keep going. Help me not feel bad about this. Now you just need longer lowers. No. Because what we can start doing now is start looking at a transmission position. Help me help you. Okay. Whatever. If at the end of the stream I still, oh, it's not as bad when it gets up a little bit of ride height. It's still not right. Fully agree. I'm well aware. Don't yell at me in the comments. This one's the wrong way. That one's the other wrong way. So. Now I just got to figure out the best combination of position for this little deluxe portal transmission. Because I'm going to need both a cut to length shorty drive shaft, I guess, and a cut to length longy drive shaft. Flip the links top and bottom. That will not work because the lowers are still longer than the uppers. So that will make it really wrong, but the other way. That is not how math works. Where is... Um, so I can angle this trans a little bit, which I believe is how it is in my in my uh, deluxe asylum, but hmm. just swap the links on one side only. If I bend the uppers and put them on the outside of the chassis, it may work. The other problem is, is that these are titanium links and are very difficult to bend in here, which is like a I need like a couple of box end wrenches at best if I wasn't going to use my bender out there. I'm trying to figure out how to put this transmission in here. I know I'll need a spacer under it. It usually comes with one and I've, I think I've lost it somewhere by now, but, um, that position hits the link screw. That one is too steep for the front. I feel like that one, I just need to, <laughs> I need slightly shorter uppers so that I don't hit the uh, rod end up there. Joy, we're not doing it now. <sighs> I'm going to look at putting it on the outside for a moment. Maybe with a small spacer. Could get my links in position in general. Ooh. 
with a good bend as is. Not without a lot of bend. Um, could I use that? No. Nope. With quite a long spacer, that would work. I do have spacers. Let's see what we can do here. Let's make some bad decisions together. I'm not going to let anybody see this thing until <laughs> until I get some proper links on it for sure. Not saying that this wouldn't help the link stability a little with some triangulation, but Maybe you could scavenge from your other vehicles. Not likely. Not with length lengths in this range. Um, these are really long length lengths. There's not much else as far as other vehicles that run something this long that aren't like a forward bias truck. You know, a lower link on a on a standard like SCX102 or SCX103, you're looking at like 122 millimeters, where these are in that 150, 160 range. But once we add bends and all those things, things could come into view. Are gladiator rear links that are long enough? Oh, I don't know. I don't actually have, I don't have a gladiator. They could be in that range, but that's not a vehicle I have. I think Hardcore makes a link set for the high low capper. Yes, they do. Brett had mentioned that a little earlier. Uh, it was not something I exactly had time to order. But now that fixed our uh, portal box angle. So that's good. It's causing us some clearance issues. Not a problem. It's not permanent. Stop judging me. Once we go to some 70 mil spacers though. Mm -hmm. Which I have another box of. We have the spacer box, we have the other spacer box. These should be 70 millimeters. Let's throw a couple of these in. I highly suggest I wholly suggest just uh, collecting way more, way more things than you should keep in one room, but organize them. Tracy Quentin, thank you. Uh, I didn't see a question, but if you have one, I'll try and catch it. Um, BT, come on, Mario, let's make a pizza. <laughs> What's happening, BT? Those rear links, I, well, they're supposed to be long, but I'm not saying that these are right. <laughs> okay, let's throw another spacer back here for the moment. Uh, 
I'm thinking the stop judging me is like demolition, right? Just don't tell me. <laughs> I, I keep the, uh, you guys ever seen bad words? The, the, stop looking at me. That's what I was. Casey Crawler, thank you. Uh, Torn's just ordering the links that I already made for this. <laughs> thank you. Yes, I'm. Uh, it would be the right. It would be the right move. And hey, I, I highly suggest Matt starts that order immediately. Okay. Actually, see now our links all uh, all clear. That's a bonus. Things start to suck less now. BT, thank you. In and out tonight, gotta get early to keep the lights on this channel. <laughs> Fly safe, sir. If you're flying tomorrow, if that's the, if that's the, on the agenda. But as always, thank you, thank you for popping in. <laughs> I think where was that position that I was trying to shoot for wet where do I put this I gotta go further back that would make my portal angle worse. You know I don't want to do it, but where's that three gear train? Now I'm gonna make the I can make the deluxe one work. I just have to find the right position where everything will clear and my drive shafts don't suck. I feel like it's that combo right there. Now that will not work. Motor will hit the drive shaft. Uh, mount it at a slight angle, but you'll probably need that spacer you lost. Oh, I 100% know I'll need the spacer. That is a for sure. I was just trying to find the right angle where my drive shaft's not going to hit, and uh, it looks like it will line up. The slight angle was definitely on that list. And I think Yeah, it's right there. So my uh we're going to pull that link back off and swap that hardware around. Try and give me some clearance. Do they make an Epoch <laughs> Chopra driver? Uh, I, or, uh, funny enough, Brett sent me a link to the drivers that I'll be running in all classes that got ordered up. but they are skeletons. Ugh. There's that. So now that transmission should fit just fine. Need some button head hardware. We're not going to tighten it down, but we can at least get it to a place where we can stare at it harder. Let's see. Will that fit right there? 
maybe. The other option is always to design up a skid quick and print it. That I can put it exactly where I need. But and it may be the option that I like the most. Because then or I could always just drill a single hole in this skid plate where I also think it would be the best to match up with the other one. Because that would sure be about where I'd like to have it. Dead center-ish. So that would sure make that work. Now we're gonna do a little do a little tucking. And we're going to start looking at fitting the Chopra Capra cage on this thing. Um, I feel like I should put a couple of, at least one spacer up front. Let's put, let's put two just to get that front kind of held together. What ESC am I running? This is the HK Hobbies ESC. I don't know what they call it. S Silencer? No. I believe that's what somebody else calls theirs. I don't know who. Maybe Deluxe. <laughs> I can't remember. Too many things to remember. Those screws are too long. Holmes has the silencer. Okay, so it's like the Holmes, but it's a different one. Deluxe has the suppressor, Holmes has the silencer. <laughs> See, you can see why I thought both of them were the same, because they're both related to things that I can remember. What's the amp rate on that tiny ESC? I think it's like 45 amps or something like that. What started drowning in the background? That is my air conditioning unit. That is normally why I like to run my noise suppression in here. And if it was working well, I would run it. But right, it's been acting super funny lately. So it kept having people's audio be all funky. If it's bad, if it's annoying a bunch of you, um, let me know and I'll try loading up NVIDIA Broadcast again and we'll give it a shot. If it's bearable though, I'll try and deal with it or just let it, let it be. Do you have a furnace in California? I do, we are in NorCal, which gets cold enough to need a furnace. It'll get down into the 30s here at times. Maybe, I don't think it gets into the 20s, but 30s, like it'll do. Yeah, those are okay there for now. Should be acceptable. Not bad at all, okay, good. External BEC also. Um, it's a really good question. Why did I not, why was I not running one before? Oh, it's because I was running a different ESC with this setup. Because it's a direct power servo. But yeah, I will need a BEC in here. Um, so, yes, you will need one.
Okay. So I have not admittedly looked at anyone else who's doing this, which probably would have been a pretty solid idea for me to, uh, to think about doing before saying that I was going to try and do this on a live stream. Max M. Thank you for 450 somethings. ARS. I would love to know what that means. <laughs> where, where is that? Um, oh, Brett had sent me a text five minutes ago with a position. Motor to the front, and he showed me the skid plate holes. Alrighty then. Well, we will try that. Thank you, Brett. So, what I'm wondering is, I know I got to cut off like all these side guards and a bunch of that other stuff to get it to fit where it get in where it fit in let's take some of this apart and see what we get argentine peso huh. finally the part i care about yes you're welcome Matt. i feel like i should have 3d scanned this and designed mounts and all of that by now, but haven't. So many screws on the floor in here. that tiny little spacer that it has there <laughs> uh, yeah I don't need this stuff I'll just throw it away like I'm going to take all these pieces out of the chassis and then keep them? Like, nah. I know I'll need some of these cross braces up here. I feel like the guys that are, are cutting... Josh just watches hardware bailout. Like, yeah, I, I ain't got time to catch the screws. <laughs> we have too much shit to do. Can I... Just barely reaches. I'd like compress the cage to make it reach. Okay, we got one more up here. I obviously know I don't need this. I know I don't need the shock towers since those are on the chassis. Trim there. Um, Side cutters. So yeah, this part's definitely gonna require some Dremel work, which. May not be able to happen on stream tonight because I don't love to Dremel in here. I usually do that outside. What is that light bar? Light bar is the worst. I 
A Dremel gone wild. You gotta be careful. It'll get away from you. It's not, you know. You know, you just can't handle it. Uh, these were the worst light. Worst. Don't need to keep that. Okay. Let's see. If I can trim that part out of there, I feel like we can make mock up on this happen. that and cut that there uh, are you mocking up I am the corner are you mocking me okay so, how much, obviously I know I need to cut off these entire sliders, but did Josh just look at his thumb to fit his hand in there? <laughs> Cutting off that whole front section. I'm positive that that area is not going to be critical. We're going to clean this all up later. Just cut away. It's just plastic. They'll always make more of it. Take out this rear cross brace so we can get the cage sitting down. So if we can get the cage sitting down, we can start seeing how everything will sit. Then we can make a Is that. I think this goes all the way up though, doesn't it? Yes. In the interest of time, We're cutting it off. I can only imagine how many people are cringing at just everything I'm doing. Like, I would normally not cut that out right now. Maybe later. I would plan it through, but like, we're just doing it. Remove the grill for test fitting too. You'll need to cut the brace in behind it. Okay. Ah, I see. So. This portion behind the grill all has to come off so you get the grill sitting or this top bar sitting just straight down. Okay, we can do that. Not cringing, just waiting for the end. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that these lower tubes back here all come off, right? Because these guys are doing like these wild cuts. Yeah. Trust the process. Thank you. Thank you. So 
that rotates back. I'm not going to cut that piece off yet because we might still use that, but um, screw it. We're just going to. The good news is, is that I kind of have a second shot at this because I've got the red cage and I wasn't using either of them. So I can't think of anything that could go wrong. Bye bye. <laughs> Let's see. So we got to, like Brett was saying, we got to take all this bracing out up here. I believe we just basically leave the hood structure. So another piece we're going to say farewell to. A one five. That is a one five. No, the red cage is mine. <laughs> Eric, I will not forget you, but if I have to, I will remember you fondly as I destroy it. <laughs> Grill is out. It's just, oh, look at that. It just comes right off. I don't have to trim anything. Let's we'll throw that away then. <laughs> Poor Capra. Oh, I know. They haven't quit selling cages yet. <laughs> This cage has been sitting since, God, I can't remember. It might've been the first road to the Rockies, honestly. Okay. We know our rear links are too long, but we said our, like we're not, we're not in the wrong realm. You know what I mean? Let's see. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm guessing we're just going to cut off this whole uh, whole front grill surround as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just cut that off. Terrible ideas. Uh, you swapped the drivetrain on the RC Speedy. That Ben. Great remembery. Oh, it, <laughs> even I don't love the just like the cut, cut, throw away. Ugh. Hope that was the right move. How wrong could it be, though? That doesn't look bad, right? You think it, like you got to remember the skid plate for this car is all the way up in the middle there. Like you got to see how much we're going to cut off of the bottom of this cap, right? Like we're going to lop off the whole bottom of this thing too. So psh, I mean, I could pretty much cut it off at the tubes. Like I can always print something to hold it back together. Especially if I just retain at these lower screw holes. Like, I mean, I think I'm going to cut this one off. Like, it'll end up being in here. <sighs> Giving it a vasectomy. Yeah, hey. Touchy subject right now. You're not touchy, but... Core Z09W. Thank you very much. Uh, you didn't have a question on there, but... If you do, thank you. Everything behind the driver goes away. Well, so the driver's here. Like, you're, this doesn't go away. But everything down here, you're saying, right? Uh, can you drive a chopper upside down? 
leave the front lower screw hole. That must mean this one here uh, for the side panels. Yeah, I can see that. And then everything else just goes away. There is not a method to madness, but method is the <laughs> madness is the method. Yeah, that makes total sense. We'll leave that one and then we cut this and these. Touchy subject, you get snipped. Not yet, but soon. Soon indeed. Um, let's just cut it, right? Can't possibly think of a single thing. Leave the rear upper panel hold. This one here. Yes, totally. Okay. Confirmation. Contact. Send it. I really need some new snips. Might, might as well cut this guy. Screw it. Weight reduction. Okay, leaving the lower panel screw hole. Ugh. There we go. Oh, I feel like these things are gonna explode. We got lots of, lots of cleanup on these cuts to do later. Gunner's here. What's happening, Gunner? Gunner, get your meat in my mouth. Listen, hey, everybody. Got in after a nice two-hour ride after work. Tonight's code, hashtag two-wheel therapy. Thank you, Gunner. Riding the super moto, I imagine. That code uh, for satisfied jerky. If you go to satisfiedjerky.com, um, you get 10% off with that code. Make sure that you use the hashtag though. Hashtag two wheeled therapy. And uh, again, satisfiedjerky.com. If one of you guys would put that in the comments and I'll pin it with the website and code. Ooh, this is gonna make my there. God damn it! It's be so much easier if I was out in the shop, but instead we're working in here like a caveman. Oh, you should use the carbon fiber power, Jeremy. We're just cutting up a capper cage for it. Oh, are you talking about like when they? cut up the power wagon cab to put on the Capra. I ain't got time for that. Whew. Clean shit up later. That is looking pretty proper, other than how improper all of the things look that I've done. Feeling better. Okay, should we? I mean, I have a lot of cleanup and things to do on just bits in here, and I gotta decide on the methods that I'll use to mount all of these things, which again, super easy. Well, 3D prints, I'll, I'll probably scan it quickly. Just do a quick 3D scan, drop it on the chassis model, connect some dots and give me some files to put up for guys who want to do the same. Try and make it nice and nice and easy for people. 
yeah. I'm not, not hating things, not hating it at all. Fish built, much appreciated, thanks Jeremy. My S624 looks just like that using a, using a Walmart RC. Hmm. Some guys like Matt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Print this, put it on there, and go. <laughs> Matt Brady, he's ignoring art. What did Art say? Uh, back cross member needs to go so you can mount the cage to the chassis. Oh, you guys are just bolting it straight through that cross member. Okay. I see what you're saying. And you're just bolting through those screws. And then, so if you're... Are you cutting it like further up so that it doesn't interfere with the chassis width? And then just bolting it right through that last hole on this array. Hinge setup. That's interesting. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I can kind of see that. Um, can you get me a big glass of water? I don't know what exactly you're doing. What are you wearing? What do you mean? Why do you have, oh, do your leggings just have holes in them? Yeah. <laughs> God. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, do you get new pants? Nope. Really old ones. <laughs> <Thanks for that. laughs> Max M. Thank you again. Recently got my Phoenix RTR. I noticed the front axle freewheeling. It's not so free. Set endpoints correctly on shifter and still tight. Disconnect from drive shaft and from the axle spins fine. Any clues? Um... I mean, there's a lot going on in the tra transfer case. So in general, like it might still have um, things going there. It's also, you know, like, mm, it was an RTR though. Hmm. Make sure the drive shaft isn't rubbing on the transmission case. I've never seen it in RTR, but I've seen it in a not RTR, but I can't imagine that that would be the case. You can always, if you uh, have Instagram, you can Instagram message me and I, uh, like with some photos and I can I can see if there's anything there. Big Mike, thank you. Doc D R I N er what? So just how did you remove your thumb? <laughs> Dr. N haha, <laughs> Dr. N E R. So how did you remove your thumb? Wow, why did I have such a hard time with that one? Thank you, baby. It's hot in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want to leave that door open for a minute yeah. for me? Yeah, it's, it's like a thousand degrees it's in this sweaty room. Sweaty laying down that knowledge in here. Right? Just spewing words. <laughs> Whew. So, okay. Just run your air. No, the air's running, but in this room, I usually have, I have the door closed, and all of the studio lights in here just heat this room it's probably 85 degrees in here right now but nicole usually listens to the tv on a billion are they led lights yep all of them are but there's a lot of them and it still heats things up okay geez not even away from nicole well yeah, I guess if we just cut straight back from that, well, we can have clearance, clearance. Uh, you need to angle the sides so that it conforms to the slider or bottom angled skit. I mean, I know my side panels will have that. Read up. Brr. Remove that. Rear brace piece, the cage will spread wider than the rails and can bolt. Oh, okay. Aha. That makes sense. I see what you're talking about. So I don't have to trim anything. I just put it there and you just spread them. Okay. I can roll with that. I'm, I'm good with that. So, da, 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 da. <coughs> now, see, now Nicole's dying out there. 
sheesh, this is getting intense. I know, right? Me not reading, just cutting stuff up. People, don't cut it! Don't cut it! <laughs> no, don't cut. <laughs> I've got 70 mil spacers in the chassis. I feel like I could probably go to about a 65. It'd probably be fine. They don't call it a chopper for nothing. Chop it up. Let's do a pull. Cut or no cut? <laughs> now I do believe that I've got my don't cut to chop. Feels so much nicer with that door open. Oh. Oof. I don't love how it flares out. Ah, but once you put those top screws back in, it's not that bad. Okay. That's not so bad anymore. Did the code incite? Oh, God. Thank you. I'll go back and find that. Um, there's got, oh, it won't let, if you're not a, uh, only the mods can post it. It blocks links otherwise, probably. Can one of the, uh, one of the mods post that in there? YouTube thinks you're spamming. It's not your fault, it's YouTube. That's why we have to have the mods do it. Don't let Phoenix type in. <laughs> if he does, we gotta double check it. <laughs> Dana said he wasn't gonna be here tonight and Phoenix is like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> okay, so front mounts we can manage. Again, with the cleanup and all, it will start to look pretty, pretty ni very nice. I have the panels here, right? C. Yes, yes I do. That's just a hood, that's not as exciting, but we can at least look at it. Wait a minute, I paid to watch cutting. <laughs> Thank you. Good news, we're gonna chop up these side panels. Then we can put shocks on. Phoenix, you have to use more than just the, we need the ad address. Where's the educator we keep around here? <laughs> I get you there. I'm not a big speller either. Okay. We got some, we gotta get the, the large hanger on off. Capper transmission that we absolutely don't need. Funny story, the original designer of the Capra was at my office yesterday while he was up in the area saying hello. Okay, where's my 1.5? What are, there it is. Will speed fab, thank you. Uh, get some Nipix 7101160 cutters. I use them uh, to cut 316 DOM tubing. Hold on. I love Nipix pliers of all types, so I'm copying that. Thank you, Scale Crawler Fab Shop. Much appreciated. Uh, we're gonna paste 
that Nipix into the browser. Good lord. Oh, those things are uh, aggressive. They're like a mini bolt cutter. Huh. Okay. Ooh, they're 30% off right now. Look at that. Add to cart. Done and dusted. Thank you, sir. Okay, we're gonna add a couple of screws. Exactly are. That's a that's a fun little set of pliers there. So we are bolting on my stock panels. So that there is obviously not going to work because there's nothing behind them. So even though we have such a lovely paint job on these that I did personally, we're going to cut them up. Let's grab some pinstriping tape. Thinner tape. That's not terrible. Just trying to plan my arc. You guys think of that arc there, cutting to the bottom of that tape. Too aggressive? Should we go more straight line rather than so um I mean we can go straight line at first, I guess, and then get to that point if we like. Hmm. I don't like the jagged would be better than curved. Less arc. Leave the A. Wow, that's a lot, way too aggressive. Fine. Nobody likes to be aggressive. Straight line. Bottom of the tape. Invert the curve. No. This is the, uh, this is as least aggressive as I think I want to go. Um, not aggressive enough. Squiggly line. <laughs> Do not cut the sides. No, we're going to cut the sides. They hang lower than the links at this point. I know it's a bump, but still. Um, remove the sliders. All right, the sliders are off. They're already gone lightning bolt <laughs> okay we're going we're gonna start at that i'm good with this one and whenever cutting lexan always use lexan scissors don't listen to these guys who try and tell you to use an X-Acto blade. That is ridiculous and they can't be trusted. Shh, 
Mark II. <laughs> um, those side panels reinforce. Wait, uh, those those side cage reinforce the panel. Yeah, if I was keeping all that on there, sure. But I feel like I can probably set this low enough that I don't want it. What about the thirst crane safety scissors? <laughs> that it's that would probably be acceptable. I basically use these like thirst grade small small cuts. Not too aggressive, reasonable. Now I can take the rem that we cut off though and use it to transfer to the other side. much Dremel cleanup to do. So much. Probably bench grinder. Probably not the Dremel. About like so. Of course my hood is being not held in place properly, but looking super aggressive, right? I like it. I like it. So now we've got our cutoff and our new panel. I'm just going to line up the line up the holes. Silver Sharpie. sure to leave the line. Leave the line. Do not cut the line. Needs a little contour in my opinion. All right, I know what you mean, but the good news is, is that we can start here. We got room to go from there. Um, and depending on like what I design for 3D printed parts and mounts, we can adjust accordingly. Weird, I have a bunch of extra body screws left over and I have no hole for the... Jesus, those cats. Can you use the body scissors on that mustache? <laughs> Thanks. Cats are being a-holes out there. <laughs> Mom, the kids are fighting again. Sometimes Chief gets in a mood. Unscrew the rear brace. The rear brace is gone. Or do you mean the rear brace between the frame rails? You're right, door open is probably better. Of 
Cool sounds match. You gotta yell at them cats. Goddamn cats. I feel like I can get full interior in here still. But, you got that there. We can start dropping shocks on here. Start looking at a little bit of that. Ooh, I don't remember what was front and rear. I don't remember what weight shock wheel I had and everything. I'm going to have to probably redo all of that. I guess, oh, I can look at my uh, spring rates. So sandy. You can tell I was at Folsom Lake last. I guess my rod ends are still dry. So this is... Oh, shit. I can't. Because this has got un... un what are these cats doing? Um, this has springs on it that were not... They were prototypes. They're unpainted, so... Shit. I'm going to have to just redo it, I guess. Whatever. I can do that later. Wildcats, yeah. Damn, it's going to... I'm telling you what. Chief and Suki will absolutely throw down on each other. That is pretty handy. Look at that. Hinge setup, as you guys were saying. I fully agree. You guys are definitely right. Sookie is also really dramatic. Like, Chief just looks at her funny and she just freaks out. She's kind of a bitch about it. Kitty needs to go in the fridge for five minutes. <laughs> pretty funny <laughs> my dogs are freaking out trying to find out where the cat is in the house <laughs> this house is as crazy as it seems on the internet Uh, hobby room, thank you. I must ask you a question. Are your cats going nuts or just Nicole? Everybody. They're all just preparing for the crazy house that this house will be next week. When it has five more people in it. That's right. Seven people in this house. Which is not large enough for that. Okay, let's bolt on some shocks with some hardware that is longer than that. Sookie's going to crash her wheel again. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Josh will have a lot of OT next week. I'm <laughs> building trucks at work. Let's pick a reasonable mid-range shock position and just go with it after we have it set up somewhere we can adjust as needed my dog went from dead sleep to what the fuck is now running through our house <laughs> Oh, they're not done. I just heard them start again. Oh my God. Hey, Chief, I will beat your ass. What is your problem? Does your door have a lock on it? For next week.
attention hogs. Yeah, there's something. Okay, so rear shocks there. The front shocks, whatever. Yeah. Now some rear shock action is next. Divas. I I can't tell you what is going on currently. Will you beat that cat? So this be the bloodshed will not be self-inflicted. Yeah, if they start running through here just Uh, what shock length? Shock length? These are 90s, so shorter than stock capper shocks for sure. Yep. There we go. Uh, use a shock mount rod and mount it to the front. Wait, use a shock mount rod and bolt it to the front chassis and use it to lock the front. Hmm. I will take a look at what you mean. Of course, I might overcomplicate it with 3D printed mounts or something. We never know. I feel like I'm gonna that a little further back. Hilo, yes, that is correct. Hilo, Chopra, Cage. It everything is very thrown together for tonight. Quick cuts, um, incorrect link lengths in the rear, caster angle not correct yet, but but you know we'll get there. It'll be it'll be proper. The good news is is that it's um, The good news is that everything is going together well enough that the rest of the changes should probably be reasonable enough to happen quickly. And I can make this thing make nationals, regionals, Rocky Mountain regionals. Class two. Uh, I have my truck that I normally run in like our local stuff. And likely what's gonna have to happen is I'm just gonna take that truck and try and throw scale points at it. Um, because I, I don't have time. So, you know. Um, you should come to the super shafty fall crawl this fall. The problem is, is that it usually happens like at the same time as Proline by the Fire, and Proline by the Fire is pretty much unbeatable. So, if it happened further apart from it, it would be one that I would definitely think about. But that's the problem. closer to some things, feeling slightly better with each step. Let's bolt on the previous wheels and tires, even though 
they aren't legal for class three because they're only they're VXT twos, which are four seven five. I've got the Hyrax LPs though, which is what I will likely run. What chassis is this, Josh? This is the Brazen Scale High Low. High Low. Four seven five ish. <laughs> It says 475 on the side, which makes it illegal. And I've got, well, I've got 350 hubs on here currently. I definitely want to go to 225. Well, if I can clear them, I got, I got to double check that. October 5th to the 8th. I can't remember. I feel like that's right around the time of some of the some events. I have to double check. Maybe that's the same time as ASD. Would the Hyrax LPs work for that? That is the plan, Mr. Eric. That is the uh, tire that I will the tire that I will plan or that I do plan to go with. But these will work as a placeholder for the meantime. Dremel will fix any writing on the sidewall. It's true. And then if they're modified, all they have to do is measure more than 475, which, I mean, I don't know that these would, but. Okay. Okay, we can drop those rear. We can drop those rear shocks down. I thought that they were going to be too tall, but or you know, thought that it was going to be too low before. But measure to fit before they cut out the. Dip. That's just two positions forward. Now, granted, we still have the longer than planned wheelbase at this point, but <laughs> LPs are the same size as those mock-up tires. I don't think that that's totally accurate, but for the moment, I think that these will work as a rough representative of said tires. I can approximate from here what size they would actually come out to be. That dropped us down a little bit. So we will be going to a 2.2 on here. Um, the other thing is, is that, well, I'll choose what wheels and all that. I guess with the 2.2, I can definitely. Okay, so lots of room to bend those rear links. I might be able to get away with those rear links with the bend, all that. We'll see. I don't know if it'll get me enough, but I can determine that as I get closer. But it did go together well. Might as well throw the roof on. What would you, if you were to guess what I did with the roof. What would be your first guess? 
Are you shitting me? I haven't gone anywhere. I had it in my hand earlier. In the bag. Is there another bag? Don't check the box behind you. Amazing. I'm so good at this. I don't know. Let's put some stuff away. Let me let's let's feel slightly better about my workspace by putting things around. Uh, one tenth design internal roof. You don't need to run the roof. I hate the look of that though. I just feel like it looks so silly. I get that it probably helps, but I, I can't. I can't see myself running it. I think they look. care too much about it, what it looks like on the internet. Is it behind the cage? We're going to put some stuff away and it'll probably appear. Let's put some drivers in the trash can. We may have to check. I was getting a little throw happy. What is that? Two five ball in. Okay. So the other two were out. And put the rod in tool away for now. It wasn't under the screw box. I gotta remember that I put my tap in. Uh, why don't you use? Vanquish tools. I use Vanquish tools like only for the drivers, for the tips. Uh, the Traxxas ones are just super nice. They're really good length. They're really sharp. I like them better than um, any of the other brands I, as far as that stuff goes. I, the Vanquish ones, you can buy the tips separately in the adapter, but it's not as good as those. If it was, I would use them. But those are. Uh, have you tried the MIPs? Yeah, I like the Traxxas ones better. I just do. I mean, the MIPs ones are nice, but the Traxxas ones, I feel like I just like them better. Okay. I've had those Traxxas ones for a long time now, too. So we got a bunch of links hanging out here. We got a ton of rod ends and screws. Um, and I'll throw some of these rod ends in that box. I've had the MIPs for three years. They're going strong. So, yeah, I've had I've had I kind of had one set of MIPs for six or seven years, way way back. Um, but the Traxxas ones I feel are a better length overall. And the hardness on the tips has been just as good. I've never broken one either. Um, and I use them, I mean, all the time. So, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the MIPs, but those Traxxas ones are, seem to be just as good and the tips uh, are longer, which I like. They're like a, a really good length. Okay, all of the hardware, I've just, yeeted all over the table. Mm -hmm. Good. All like the random hardware from Bill's it just it just goes into one one big bag. Okay. 
Okay. So don't worry, I still have plenty to do. Now that was my mock-up servo horn. Throw that away. For the uh, when I had the bell crank set up going on, I had it drilled and all that. Okay. I feel better about things. Couple of these things I still need to keep. Oh, this is a different bag because this had. I do have another bag somewhere. Because that one's got my 2.5. It's now time to fire up the cat. I agree. Uh, need some more salt on that hat? <laughs> I know. It's. It has uh, it has reached its expiration time for sure. Do I keep the fa scale fuel cell? No, we we don't need that one. We'll throw that away. This enough tear down the kit, you end up with bags and tubs. Yeah, it's when it just keeps going and going. Top fell off the desk towards the camera. Hmm. Shit. Dropped my Xbox controller about ten times. Maybe the cats took it. Oh wait, here is the interior. Did it get moved with it? I don't know. At this point, I don't even care. It will show up when it shows up. But. Who knows? Now I still have some figuring out to do. I'm gonna make this transmission fit properly, either by swapping it over to the orientation that Brett had sent me and suggested. But yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need longer and shorter drive shafts, both. We can put those screws back in up there. Does the rear hinge point need to be raised a bit? Back here. Well, I don't. I don't really have an option for that because it's just right through the back part of that chassis. I don't know. I feel like it, I feel like I can deal with that part of it. That is the incorrect screw length for certain. Oh well. We already sent it through there, so. <laughs> Number one bat fan. Thank you. Off topic, some jerk got me in the RLC. Where do I learn the drop dates? Sign up for the email notifications because they'll tell you what's coming. And then they send you an email the day, bef the day that it drops and let you know uh, because you got to be quick. You got to be like, nine o'clock in the morning when it drops, or if you're on the West Coast. Like, and you gotta be in there, and if it's one of the good ones, you gotta like, get in the checkout right away. My suggestion, get your payment info saved in the like, whatever the wallet thing is, so that you don't have to wait for that to go through. Helps. Front end, yes, the front end does need to drop down a bit. Let's do that. Let's 
see what that does. We'll just, whoops. So that should drop us five or six millimeters. That gets it leveled out quite a bit, quite a bit more quickly. Um, will this have a skid? It has a skid. You just don't see it. It's on. It's in there. If I can be as minimal about things as possible, and just get this thing pointed, maybe bring the rear up one position. We could. I feel like the. If I hold it by the axles, like. The position, the weird Capra hood line is what I think also kind of throws things off. How it goes way up above the belt line, as you would call it. And our hood is also going to drop down about four or five millimeter. You can see the, uh, the front little contact points there aren't allowing this to go down yet. So I'll cut that even with the the front tube bar there so it drops down. But that will make that easy. Rear high clearance link, yep, these will get bent. These are just what we had and they're not exactly the right length, but I'm not super mad at the wheelbase. I don't have my freaking uh, tape measure in here though. and. That's making it a little bit more difficult to measure. Looks great for one night, yeah. Um, I, It's a good start, at least. We'll take a one, two, three block and we'll drop it at It's at 10 inches there. So it's 13 and a quarter right now. So that's not bad. 13 and a quarter, I can, I can deal with. If I, I mean, if only you had a squared mat. I do have a squared mat, but he lives in Canada, and he also has a mat with squares on it. But, with some tweaking, some tuning, the, uh, with that, that lower part of the cage, it's still hanging right there, just below the panel. If I cut that off right there, you should see, you'll see it's like, perfect height with to be uh, about at the right even with the top of the chassis and the belly there yeah fully approve I guess the other thing we could do is we could do a, a carrier bearing style rear drive shaft hmm. need a buyer for this rig after the event always <laughs> We'll see. We'll see how close it gets to done done. And then if, uh, cause I might want to like get her, get her good and finished. We'll see. We'll see. Cutting off these light bar mounts. Cause that was always one of my least favorite things about the Capra. I'll sand that later. I think once you short the shocks, links, tires, it's going to be great. Once you do all the other things still, it'll be good. Hell, I think, yeah. So I need to order drive shafts. I need to get a BEC in it. I need to clean up all the cage. Um, that stuff, that'll be a good, a good whack of things to get cleaned up, but easily enough. 
and then this thing will run fairly easily. Oh yeah, Brett sent me a text. You know, the minor things, exactly. Brett sent me a text with a photo of his suggestion for the... Motor position, motor to the front. Let's see how this works out. Motor to the front, this is that way. Rear inner screw. So that's that location. I need to get the spacer in there, but about like that. And yeah, I see what he's talking about. Let's see about removing the drive shafts since those are just in the way at the moment. Nice and slick setup there. I like, I like that suggestion from Brett. Obviously, he's seen one or two. So I'll get an order into Deluxe tonight. I hope. that rear drive shaft I have some decisions to make on well I'll probably just get the uh, once I bend these rear links I probably won't have to do much there I think we'll be able to get away without having to change those fronts. I'll probably check and see. I bet I've got some links that are the appropriate length for that. Uh, will the wheelbase LE? I don't know what you mean. But then it's just the uh, the rest of the silly stuff like changing you know shooting for a 13 inch wheelbase well yeah probably around that um, real close at least although when I bend these rear links I may end up shorter than that because I only have a quarter inch right now and so I don't know I've got obviously I have plenty of other links as well but this will at least give me something to compare to I can compare my eye to eye lengths new brass wheel weights overkill on a comp truck asking for a friend <sighs> depends I mean depends on how you're setting things up not always no um, but you know I don't know Depends on what truck. <laughs> Depends on what truck for sure. Overall, I am pleased. A little bit taller tire with the Capra, or with the Hyrax LP. A 
which I do have two of here. I don't have all of them here, but as you can see, they're much taller than the, those tires shown there by, by a long ways. <laughs> um, oh God, they're so much taller. Look at that. Tell me those are the same height. These are so much taller. So, uh, are those the LPs? Yes, these are the LPs. The G8 LPs, I believe. I need to get foams for these as well. Another thing on the list. Fish eye lens. <laughs> It is right at nine o'clock. Three hours. Not, I mean, it's, I mean, we got, that's a decent amount done. It's like almost a truck in three hours. It's not right or perfect, but for three hours to get a truck that looks like a thing, I'm pretty happy with that. I feel good about being able to make it to nationals with this now. Which is a, which is a nice bonus. VXT twos don't look ridiculously stretched on two tubes. <laughs> Should be fun. Get that four wheel steer going on. Yes. Uh, you owe us six more minutes. Good show, Josh. Thanks for seeing. Yeah, thank you guys. It's uh, not nationals. You're right. Maybe like a buzzer behind me. Bah, nope. Wrong. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the YouTube stream moderator, I have to take a moment to express the heartfelt gratitude to each of you for joining us today. Your presence and engagement make this stream come alive, and we couldn't be more thrilled to have you here. <laughs> ben is on it. Chat GPT <laughs> moderator of the year combo over here. <laughs> uh, definitely ain't much of a cap rather than the axles and some cage pieces. Yep, yeah, you're right. We uh, we fooled them good. Yeah, I am pretty stoked. I'm looking forward to designing up some parts and. Just like cleaning it up. Nice, nice little battery thing, slider, base. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, I have no concerns now. Feel pretty good about it, really. So, thanks for content. I'm enjoying watching you build my next rig. <laughs> I, uh, I'm pretty stoked overall. If you're going to like this more than, oh wait, you think you're going to like this more than the four-wheel steer Capra? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think so. I think that I liked the four-wheel steer Capra just because it's kind of what it offered. Uh, but I think this just takes that and then makes it, it's gonna make it more capable in general. Lower center of gravity, just a ton of clearance, still like, it's like a Capra. <laughs> but different. Now we just have to try and be reasonable about getting the points we need to make this a pointed out class three. Slightly difficult, but I don't think impossible. So. Yeah. Not sitting on its side without falling over, which I feel like it should have, but. It's okay. We'll be in good shape. Are you going to run a body? That's what this is. It's body panels. That's a body. Uh, you didn't get the bent high clearance links in the rear, missed the whole link section. Um, this, These are just links that I had around. So I kind of put some things on it. And uh, so I'll take these out to the there and I'll bend them myself. 
and we'll put a we'll put a good a good rear bend in them midway get them tucked up there rear uppers are going to be a different situation that i've got to figure out exactly either get the right ones or figure it out it'll be fine i am unconcerned now you could cut up a cliffhanger body. No, it doesn't need, this is the body. Body, done. Bot hood, sides. I'll probably put the roof on when I found it, but that's the body. No more, this is the body. <laughs> that's it. Are you gonna double bend the rears? Probably not, I'll probably single bend. Um, yeah, no, no double bend for me. Forged carbon roof, no. No more carbon fiber, no time for carbon. <laughs> you know what would look good is, <laughs> you're fired Dawson. <laughs> uh, your definition of a body is questionable, sir. Even Brent's robot chat would say the same. This, it's a tube bot, tube cage, and then that's body paint. That's all you put on a tube cage. You don't, it's like when I yelled at Matt. People who like, like when you putting like the bodies over these cages, I'm just like, that's, that looks terrible. It's terrible. Don't do that. Fired. We're done. That's it for tonight. It's nine o'clock. Now I can get back to work and do like another six to eight hours of CAD work tonight. I'll just turn the live stream back on, right? I'll end this. I'll turn the live stream right back on and it'll just be CAD work, but I'm not going to respond or read comments. You're just going to watch me like think, do the, uh, no, do, uh, no, do this. Just six hour live stream of just utter, just garbage. 10 minute breaks as I go get something to drink and pee. <laughs> No words, just heavy breath. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm not even gonna turn on the microphone. It's nothing. You're just gonna hear system sounds from the monitor. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, whatever, we're good. Hear frustration and moe, maybe a cuss word or two. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, I'm out of here for tonight. Appreciate it. Thanks everybody. I'm cutting this thing off. I'm starting to get stuffy. Have a good weekend, everybody.